Building 21 is out and there are six rewards to grab. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to get all six of them and what they are. It's pretty tough and it's going to be much harder for you than it was for me. And I'll explain why at the end of the video. First of all, you're definitely going to need a team for this. If you don't have a squad ready to go, if you don't have friends that are into DMZ, consider using the sponsor of today's video, Gamerlink. It's a free app that you can download on iOS and Android. It supports over 350 games and you can use it to find other people interested in playing the same games you are. DMZ's featured on it so you can set up a post on there saying you want to play DMZ with all of your platform details, whether you want to use a microphone, all of that good stuff, and find other people to help you get the rewards in Building 21. So first of all, Building 21 appears as a separate playlist from doing DMZ in our Masfa. We don't know how long it's going to be available, but Infinity Ward have kind of implied it's not going to be there forever. So if it's not up when you're watching this video, don't worry, just wait for it to come around again. So to even queue for Building 21, you're going to need a Building 21 access card. You get this from regular DMZ in our Masra and we seem to find the most from SAM site. So you get a SAM site, it shoots down a plane, go find a box that it drops and sometimes you'll get a Building 21 access card in there. You can also get it from other sources of rare loot, so from shooting down commander helicopters and looting those boxes, from the regular supply drops that drop over sometimes and I think you can even find it in things like safes and orange boxes but it seems to come up the most in those big supply boxes. If you can't open those boxes and you're on console or you're using a controller just make sure you change your interact settings to tap to reload which is the default setting and then you'll be able to hold the button and open the box for whatever reason it doesn't work if you're on prioritize interact so you've got your building 21 access card you've got a squad by the way only the squad leader needs to use a card it will use up one of their cards in their inventory you don't need to bring it with you or anything like that you'll spawn into a room either on the basement or on the middle floor there's three floors in building 21 and the whole building is basically a big rectangle if ever you're getting a little bit lost and you're not sure where you are just go near any of the stairwells which are at the corners and you'll see a little map just outside the stairwell that'll help you kind of get your bearings a little bit but as we go i'll try to talk about compass directions to help you out there's a few features of building 21 that you don't actually need to bother with to get the rewards but we'll go through them very quickly first of all there is a boss he's called velican he's the operator from modern warfare 2019 and warzone season 5 he does spawn at some point during the game and you'll get a thing come up on your screen saying Velikan's nearby. He's pretty tough. If you kill him, you'll get a Chimera and a grenade launcher. That's not the only way you get the Chimera. Actually, most of the guards will drop Chimeras all over Building 21. So if you want to just unlock that gun, you can kill any of the guards and then as long as you extract with it in your inventory, that will unlock the Chimera for you to use. Sadly, you don't get any special blueprints or anything for killing Velikan. There's also a dead drop in one of the stairwells. If you want, you can use this to drop off a load of loot. There are four different access cards you can use within building 21 there's the red and blue ones which you can actually get from our Masro and you can find them loot there or sometimes they just drop off enemies within building 21 they unlock rooms or just have three orange crates in them and then a bunch of expensive loot around there there's no notes there's no law it doesn't seem like there's anything you can interact with in any of those rooms there's also a black access card which drops if you kill the wheelson that's patrolling along the top floor that opens a security room down on the bottom floor again three orange boxes there's nothing else very exciting you'll also find plenty of green access cards they open some of the various storage lockers that you'll find around the map again nothing particularly interesting in any of them sadly but let's get on to the real reason you're here and that is the weapon cases so just like how you get in our mouse where you get those weapon cases that the juggernaut drops and then you have to extract with it while all the other players know where you are and then you get special rewards at the end of the game that same feature is present in building 21 but it's a lot more complicated there are six different rewards and I'll go through all of them at the end of this video just to show you what they are but you have to do each one of them in a separate trip to building 21 so basically there's one weapon case on the map you can extract with it and then you'll have to do that six times so you'll need six different access cards for building 21 in order to complete all of these we managed to get this done pretty quickly just because my community was amazing and kept giving us access cards but this is going to be quite a slow process for most people so the first step is you have to go down to the archives so this is down on the basement level it's on the far west side of the building there's a big square room called the archives you'll know that you're in there because there's loads of big servers everywhere immediately at the start of the game head to that room and kill the free ai who should be patrolling in there and then there's a few other ai in the offices nearby now there are other player teams in building 21 and a couple of them spawn very very close to this room so it's not unusual for you to get there kill the ai and then have to deal with a team or two shortly after that so just be prepared for it you can normally hear them 
fighting in the corridors around because there'll be a bunch of other AI guards that they have to deal with. So just listen out for them and be prepared to kill them. Once the timer ticks down to 11 minutes, you'll be able to go to this server and interact with it. You actually have to do the same trick if you're on controller like you do with the supply crates. So if you can't interact with it, change your options to tap to reload like it was in default and that will let you do it. You need to hold interact on this server. And while you do that, an elevator towards the back of the room, so the kind of far west side of it, will spew out a bunch more AI, quite tough AI, and they'll come into the room. So your teammates need to protect you because you have to keep holding the interact button until you've hacked this server. Also remember, every other team will know that you're doing this. They will get a message on their screen saying that the archive room is being hacked, which is kind of a pain, but that's the way it is. Once you've completed the hack, you can leave immediately. You'll get a message on your screen saying that the armory is open. This is on the top floor in the northeast corner. So if you follow the route that we take in this guide, we ended up taking the exact same route every time. So you go down these corridors and up this particular set of stairs. And then when you come out of the stairs on the top floor, you want to turn right and head down this corridor as fast as you can. The reason for that is there will be probably another couple of player teams up here, but there's also going to be a bunch of AI, including a Wilson that is incredibly deadly. If you sprint down this corridor and get down it very quickly, obviously take out any AI if they happen to be in front of you, then you can normally get through without having to have some long drawn out fight. If you stop for too long here, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Follow our steps here to get to the armory. The door will already be open, but basically you go down that long corridor and then take the last left and you'll see this little door open and you can head in. There's a bunch of different loot boxes here. So if for some reason you don't have free plates or anything like that, you can get all of that stuff sorted, but there'll also be a safe. And this is the thing that you want to start drilling. While the safe is drilling, it's a good idea to, again, just get ready to defend the room. Other people will know that you've opened up the armory. So other teams might be coming here too. There's only two doorways in here. So you can set up mines or redeployable shields and things like that just to help protect it in case other teams storm in. Once the safe is open, you don't actually want to grab it straight away. And that's because you can't see which elevator will be the exfil for this map until the timer gets to seven minutes. So wait until the timer gets to seven minutes, see which one is the exfil, and then loot the safe and pick up the weapon case. Just like on our Masra, as soon as you pick up that weapon case, everyone on the map will know you have it, and they'll know that you're heading towards one of the exfil points, and they'll also be able to see on their screens a little marker sort of showing where you were a few seconds ago. It doesn't update very quickly, so if you move fast, you should be okay. You need to head to whichever elevator is the one that you can exfil from. It's random each game. If you're lucky, it'll be on the same floor as you. If it's on one of the floors below, you don't actually need to find the stairwell to get to the middle floor. You can just jump off the walkway so you can land there. It doesn't do any damage to you. And try to get to that elevator as fast as possible. Once you're there, you can interact with the elevator and it'll call it. And now you have to defend again for 30 seconds. Normally, there's a little bit of cover on the left and right or some offices or something that you can duck into. And just be aware that other players are probably going to be coming towards you as well as a bunch of bots that spawn. Normally, for some reason, we have a bot that spawns with an anti-air missile, but they will launch a rocket at you while you're trying to defend. Once the 30 seconds are up, the elevator doors will open. You all need to rush in and then immediately hit that button to activate the elevator. This will trigger the slowest closing elevator doors I've ever seen in the world, but you have to now defend this tiny little elevator for a few seconds while the doors close. Bear in mind, other teams will be bearing down on you. They could throw Semtexes and stuff like that in on you. We tried throwing a trophy system on the floor, but it just fell through the floor. So that might be worth throwing outside if you've got a trophy system. And if you've got a sentry gun or anything like that, annoyingly, it won't let you place it down while all of this is happening. As soon as the elevator doors close, that's it. You're completed. You've exfilled. And then that weapon case is yours and you'll get the rewards. Remember at the beginning of the video, I said this was going to be a lot harder for you than it was for us. That's because when we were doing it, no one knew what was going on. No one knew what it meant when the archives were being hacked or when the armory was open. Once this starts getting out and this method starts getting out, as soon as you start hacking the archives, I imagine people are going to start camping that armory. Now, like I said, no one can exfil until seven minutes are up. You can't even tell which exfil is the right one. So you're still going to have plenty of time to do it, but you're probably going to have to fight other teams. Nearly every time we did it, we had to kill one other team who just happened to cross our path at some point. But now I imagine lots of people are going to be going in just to get this weapon case. So they're probably going to be camping places like the armory or the archive. So be very, very careful. And I'm kind of sorry that I made this guide because it's going to make it much harder for you. But to make it up for you, I'll just very quickly show you all of the rewards you get. They're not 
the best reward, sadly. The last one's pretty cool, but all of the others are a little bit rubbish. So the first one is this dog charm, which is called Going Bark, and it's like a dog with night vision goggles on. Get it? Because it's like going dark, but bark yeah the second reward is a calling card of that wilson turret that patrols around the top of it um it's animated which is nice i guess the third one is a weapon sticker that's called raw and it's got like a blue tiger on it the fourth one is an emblem that's called company sniper and i'm pretty sure this is a shadow company emblem with that kind of rook thing on it but it's not animated i guess it looks all right by now we were thinking these rewards were a little bit rubbish and we were all laughing about like how bad could it get like imagine if the fifth reward was like a vehicle camo for a vehicle that you can't even use in dmz and then the fifth reward is a camo for the heavy chopper called camo cloud it's gray and you can't use heavy choppers in dmz so th that's nice and then the final reward is a blueprint for the chimera called silver tox and it actually looks pretty cool it's kind of chrome it's got some orange and black bits on it i really like the look of this but when you try to use it in game at the moment it just comes up with the base camo the skin doesn't actually apply which kind of sucks but hopefully they'll fix that at some point soon so thank you for listening to all of this guide if you've made this this far don't forget to leave a like it helps me out a bunch consider subscribing and i'll see you for the next one goodbye